Hi, my name is Keith Arnett, and today I'm going to post about uh, mag lights, specifically LED mag lights. And the reason I'm posting this is because I had uh, quite a bit of problem finding everything I needed to know about my LED mag light in one spot. It was scattered around, and then there was actually some of the information that I really wasn't able to find at all or, or easily find. So I'm going to post this video to try and get everything in a one-stop uh, shopping kind of a deal. So the first thing I want to point out to people is that uh, <clears throat> there are in effect two kinds of LED mag lights and I've got both of them here. This one is uh, one that originally started out as a uh, incandescent bulb and that you can uh, purchase an aftermarket LED bulb for that and and install it right in here it's very simple there are lots of videos out there to show you how to do it so i'm not going to go into it today uh, you just uh, unscrew this whole cap pop out the old one put in the new one and you're good the only thing you have to remember is that uh, you do want it to be a three volt well you want it to match the number of batteries you have these are uh, two diesel uh, mag lights uh, so you want to get a, a 3 volt uh, LED for that. <clears throat> so just be, be aware of that. But uh, that's pretty straightforward. Now the other kind is uh, one that came from the factory uh, made by Maglite with an LED bulb in it. And uh, the one thing I'll tell you right off the bat you need to know is that uh, that bulb is considered to be non-replaceable. If you look on the uh, Maglite website on their FAQ, they have a pretty lengthy uh, statement about LED lights. They claim them to last, oh, uh, I think it is 50,000 to 100,000 hours, which is a very long time. And they consider it to be done when it hits 50% uh, of its brightness. So... Um, in essence, and they tell you right there, they don't consider it to be a, a consumable or a replaceable part of the flashlight. So uh, the reason I delved into this is this particular flashlight here uh, gave me some problems. The batteries blew up and uh, I have to get into it. But one thing I want to point out here is uh, if your flashlight has this serial number on the side, which it should, and it says L... For example, this one says DL. The L stands for uh, LED. So that will tell you without even having to open the unit up whether it's an LED uh, flashlight or not. Uh, this other one here does not have the L. And just uh, for laughs, I'm going to do a quick comparison. Uh, this one here, this is the aftermarket LED, and this is the... Uh, one that came with the mag light integrated into it. So you can see, uh, I, I would recommend this uh, upgrade here. It, it is substantially brighter than the, uh, than the original incandescent bulb. <clears throat> but you can see the, uh, the uh, factory LED is even brighter than that. So uh, this is a good upgrade, but uh, if you really want the brightest, you know, get the unit from the factory. So, uh, as I said, the problem I was having is that uh, this unit, <clears throat> I put, uh, well, you can see it's pretty beat up. It, it rides around in my tool bucket, okay, and uh, it's, it's seen its wear and tear. But it had sat, I let it sit for a while, and, and for whatever reasons didn't use it, and the D-cell batteries inside, uh, opened up and leaked and made a big mess and uh, surprise surprise the uh, the flashlight didn't work anymore and uh, so I wanted to find out about that and uh, I, I managed to get the uh, blown up batteries out of there they actually came out fairly easily uh, there are a number of videos that you can look at about uh, getting out really stuck batteries it's uh, it can get into a whole hassle but uh, bear in mind that you know it, it used to be I've seen posted that people uh, have said that uh, maglite used to cover exploded batteries but 
uh, if you go on their website, no, they don't, and uh, they refer you to the battery manufacturer. So you should know, hopefully, what, what's in there. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> I, I got the batteries out. That was, that was no big deal. And uh, I cleaned out all the stuff. You can see this end cap. I kind of got some of the paint off while I was uh, doing that. But I'll take my batteries out here. And uh, take this end piece off. There we go. Okay, and that, that's just, you can set that aside. You don't really need to worry about it. So uh, you can see right here, maybe, uh, let me get my other flashlight. And you can see our lovely little factory LED in there. And that, that uh, you can push it up and down. And, uh, but, you know, how do I get it out of there? Now, if you look, if you look way down in there, stick with me here. I'm trying to get my light lined up. Uh, you'll see there is a ring. There's a, a metal retainer ring way down there. Uh, if you take that out, you can slide it out this end. That's a big hassle. Uh, the other way to take these things out is, uh, well, let me take off this uh, the rubber switch cover. And this, this is our switch right here. And again, apologize for the, the lighting, <laughs> black on black here. This is our switch. And you can see it has a little bitty hole in the middle of it. And the way this works uh, is uh, the, the switch actually has the uh, LED light as part of the switch. And, of course, it's, it's way, way down inside uh, the, the barrel. So there are a number of uh, videos out there about removing the switch, how to do it. Um, basically, if it's an older flashlight, what you need is a hex, an Allen wrench, that goes down inside that little hole and unscrews a set screw on the other side of the uh, on the other side of the the tube and that when you unloosen that set screw then this this thing will slide out but uh, in the newer ones you need uh, a Torx wrench a little star uh, type wrench you see uh, the bigger sizes used for deck screws and lots of other things but um, in this case, you need a size T8, and it's a standard T8 Torx. The problem is uh, it has to fit into that little hole, and uh, it's pretty easy to go out and find uh, a set of Torx wrenches. This is a set that I bought at uh, Harbor Freight, uh, and it includes a T8. The problem is, though, with these smaller ones, you can see here... Um, how the shank is actually bigger than the business end of the Torx wrench. And so uh, on a, it's, it, that works on a T8, on the T8 unit that was in here. So you can't fit it into that hole. And uh, you can if you shop around enough on the internet, on Amazon, you can find, uh, and the key is to look at the picture of it, you can find a T8 that is a, a straight shaft wrench, but uh, they're usually pricey, they're like 20 bucks, and uh, you know, it's like, well, I can buy a new flashlight for 30 bucks, so do I really want to go down that path? But in the, in the quest of getting the problem solved, what I did, and you see other videos on, on YouTube that talk about this, doing this, I took uh, the T8 and uh, put it on my grinder, my bench grinder, and uh, I ground down the shaft to match the size of, of the end, the T8 end. So, uh, voila, it fits in there now. And you kind of just 
just fish it around. Let me get over here. There we go. I don't know if you heard that click, but it, it's, it made its way in. And at that point, I just, they say four and a half screws or something like that turns. And there we go. You have to engage the switch, put it down, and then slide it. And you might want to have, there we go, something on hand to push it. And there we have it. It's the, uh, you can see the LED is built right into the switch. One thing uh, I had to do is this, this end here was, it had corrosion on it. I had to sandpaper that off. Um, but you can actually, uh, this, this little screw here is also a T8 Torx. So you can undo this and slide that whole assembly out. Uh, there's a contact on the bottom of the bulb casing, and then there's a spring-loaded uh, connector in there. So you might want to just check and see if uh, to make sure those aren't uh, corroded, and if they are, hit them with a little bit of uh, 220 sandpaper, and you'll be good. Now, uh, when I originally took this thing apart, after I cleaned it, uh, I could get this to, to light when I pushed this down a little bit, but it didn't want to uh, didn't want to stay lit. So I did take it apart and clean some of those uh, contacts. Just as a point of reference, when it's down like that, that's on. When it's up like that, it's off. You can also hear a little bit of a difference in the sound. On, off, on, off. So anyway, I'm not going to take that apart. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but there you have it. And uh, as I said, Maglite does not sell this part. So if you actually, uh, you know, you can do what I did. Uh, I took a, a power lead. I took my two, uh, my two batteries and uh, put them together, put that on here like so and uh, I took a wire and went from the tail end of the negative here connected it around to my pot uh, the, the negative on the case with the switch on and uh, diddled around with it and I verified that the LED was working now if you if you actually figure out that the the uh, LED is not working I would suggest uh, you contact uh, Maglite with that. I would think that would be a, a, a failure uh, issue of something that they're saying should last 50,000 hours. So if, if your LED, if your built-in LED is actually bad, uh, I, I would contact them. And you can go on their website. There's a little uh, uh, form on one of their pages to contact them and, and see what they have to say. But that's about it. The rest of this was uh, was pretty clean. I didn't really have any problems with it. And as you were observing earlier, I had it I had it on. Now, the one thing I did do, I don't know if you can see quite easily, but uh, I did booger this thing up pretty good. I, I <laughs> back when I wasn't sure how this all worked, I thought maybe you unscrewed this somehow, like the. Uh, like you do with the incandescent lights, and I put a pair of needle nose down there and scrunched it all up. So thank goodness I didn't break anything. But that's uh, that's one reason why I really wanted to uh, just put it out there and let you see what's in there and uh, and how to do it. And to, so to put it back together, it's uh, it's pretty much the same deal. Uh, you slide the uh, the switch assembly back in and. Uh, well, let's make it uh, press state on, slide it in, push it up there, and it'll go up until it hits that, uh, that retainer ring. Now, you can, as I said, you can take the retainer ring out of in here. It's a tricky business. 
but if you, if for some reason you need to do it, you, <laughs> you can uh, undo that retainer ring and slide it out the front. But uh, and and there are videos on doing that. So once you uh, once you get this thing going here, I'm gonna slip back in my. Trusty T8. Oops. Easily said. More easily said than done. Let's try to engage that, uh, that Torx head down in there. Okay, that gave me a little bit of trouble. It was. Uh, not a problem to get that down in there, but I had a little trouble engaging that Torx, but uh, I got it. So we're back together here. And uh, one thing to be aware of here is uh, just make sure when you do that, make sure to get your uh, switch centered both ways. And then you can put back the switch cap and you're good to go. And uh, I'll go ahead and put my batteries back in here and uh, voila so that's a little bit on led lights so i hope you're a little uh, more uh, <laughs> you have a little more information than you did when you started the video thanks for watching and apologies for the the poor camera work here